Hello everybody, what is going on? We are back with uh, Tax Hot Roulette, this is episode number 6. Uh, in the last episode, actually it's been a while since I've recorded anything, there's a good reason for that. Um, I've been, is this, I put a big video up on it, you can go and check it out, I'm not going to explain it here, but I, in the last episode I asked you guys what I should do to make pucks. If I should earn them with my goals or blah blah blah, what should I do? So uh, a bunch of people were saying, you know, 500 pucks for one goal, 1k for one goal, and I was prepared to do something like that. But then I got this comment from this guy named Mr. Unboxing World, and it's one of the top rated comments on my last hot roulette. So I'm going to read out the comment, and I'm definitely going to going to use this one. So it says, instead of uh, each goal being 1k or 500 pucks, use the differential from between the the game score so um, example if I win five to three that is a differential of two I like I beat him by two goals so that means I would add 2k to my team towards the next player and say I win eight nothing that's a differential of eight that is 8k towards my next player I think that's super cool and that I've never I didn't even think about that so I am definitely going to use that thank you to mr. unboxing world I am going to do that it's going to uh, it's come into place in my next game that I play and another thing people are saying that it's that it's rigged that I'm doing this all like that I'm I'm only going for the players that I want blah 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 but I'm not it's really legit and I have no reason to cheat so how I'm going to prove that to you guys I'm going to do it all live before I just played a bunch of games and I commentated on it after so it wasn't live and it, I could kind of see where you guys thought it would be a shaky thing so that is what I'm going to do from now on everything is going to be live so I'm go so I can show you guys that I get the correct player and I know I a people a couple people were telling me that uh, the, the Jeff Skinner that I bought was one player after the one that I should have bought so I screwed up there that was an honest mistake I wasn't trying to get Skinner I don't have a personal preference for Skinner there was a lot of other players that I could have got if I wanted to, but um, uh, yeah, so that's what it's going to going to be like now. I'm going to use Mr. Unboxing World's idea. I read out his comment earlier, so if you want to go back and if you don't understand, just go back and listen to it. You will understand it in this video though. So without further ado, let's get into some games, and everything is going to be legit now. As you can hear, I do have game audio now, so it's going to make for a lot better. Uh, commentary and a lot better stuff so let's jump into game number one in the first game we're up against a Toronto Maple Leafs fan he's got Kevin Bieksa as his leading point getter but really early on Bieksa's D partner Dan Hamhues pinches for my team comes in gets the dirty goal in front crowd goes wild we are at home one nothing really early on then Grabner tr gets tripped that doesn't phase him though all the way over to Perron beautiful pass beautiful shot 2-0, that is all he could take. He quits, 2-0, and that is how it is going to end. So, another quitter. Let's jump over to the live com. All right, so after that guy quit, we got to get another player. I'm doing this live so you guys know what is all legit. I bought a random card, and I traded myself 2K from my other account. Gave myself some contracts because I do need them. So, uh, let me know if you guys think that's cheating or not. I don't think it's cheating. They're just some contracts. Another thing, though, is I could also... Um, make it so my players expire like and then I don't ever use them again that's what I saw in some other hut roulette so let me know what you think about that like once their contract is up then that is it and they're off the team so I don't have to deal with contracts and all that stuff but it's totally up to you guys uh, maximum price will put up to 4250 because that is uh, the max thing uh, 4250 40 250 there we go uh, minimum price 100 we got the 25th player 16 plus 9 is 25 so that is 10 this is 20 1 2 3 4 5 Teddy Purcell for 400 pucks that is not bad I'm going to bid on that see if they uh, see if anybody bids me up and I'll be right back as you can see here, we did get the Teddy Purcell for just uh, 400 pucks, which is a really good deal in my opinion. So I'm going to go ahead and put that to my active roster. So last time we faced a Toronto fan, this time we're going up against a Montreal fan. And early on, James Wisniewski, the ex-hab, comes in. What a bomb over the blocker side. Makes it one to nothing. That's how the first period would end. And then another defenseman, Eric Johnson, comes in. What a snipe. So three of our four goals from this episode have all been from defensemen. So the defense, of course, stepping up huge. And David Perron just levels this guy. He goes human goalie. I don't know why he would go ahead and do that, but... 
That makes it three to nothing, and he quits. So me and another person quit. We are two and zero. Oh. We are killing it. All right, so we are two and zero oh in this episode. Satari with two shutouts. Uh, I know he hasn't had much to work with, but still, two in a row is pretty nice. I give myself three thousand pucks just because uh, we won three nothing that game, so that would be three differential. Now let's go get another player. Like I said, I give myself some more contracts. I'm not gonna do that from here on out though. I give myself a little bit, and that's all that I need right now. So eight um, K is where we are at. I'm gonna put the buy now to eight K just because I don't want to go through any more bidding process or anything. So the buy now is going to be eight K. And we gotta get the 26th player, uh, 8K. They're perfect uh, NHL. Let's go. So we got the 26th player. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Andrew Alberts for 38.5. Oh my God, that sucks. That's the worst. I knew, I knew one of these was uh, g they were gonna come. So. Uh, we did get Andrew Alberts for a lot of pucks, and that does suck. We have 4K, so pretty much that whole game went to purchasing Andrew Alberts. Uh, if you didn't know, I put, um, where is he? I put uh, Teddy Purcell on the fourth line. There's really nowhere, us, nowhere for us to put uh, the star Andrew Alberts, so that sucks. That's a waste of 3K, but that is roulette. It is all chance. What are you going to do? Okay, so one more thing I'm going to run past you guys is, just because we bought that Andrew Alberts for so much, I'm going to go ahead and try to resell him on the open market. And that's what I think I'm going to do with all the players that do get bumped out. So, say I get a really good left wing one time. Say I get a Kovalchuk, just for example. Then that means Perron's going to get the boot. Or actually, I will move him down. So, Higgins would get the boot. So, do I try to, to, to resell Higgins? And then I was thinking with the players that I resell, Whatever I make that for, I buy I buy packs, and maybe I'll get a captain card. Maybe I'll get a couple change team cards if the players get good enough, and I can sell them for a decent amount. So I'm gonna try that out. Let me know what you think. So we're gonna sell Patrick Eves, uh, Chad LaRose, Andrew Alberts that we almost bought for 4K, uh, that we did buy for almost 4K. Jordan Leopold, Laton Dress, and I think that's it. So. Uh, and Fleischman, so we should get a decent amount from there, probably about 2k, maybe. I'm gonna see what everything goes for, and I'll be right back. So, unfortunately, nothing did sell, so that really sucks. I left it overnight, and nothing did, uh, sell. So, what I think I'm going to do is, every player that I'm not using, or that, like, I, that get, get, gets kicked out of the lineup, I'm just gonna put them up for 50 pucks, you know, why not? Um, brings a little bit more of, like, the chance and the, I guess, roulette type-ish thing to the series. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Everybody up for 50 pucks. Kind of a waste, but what are you going to do? That's how it goes. So I'm going to put everybody up for 50 pucks and we will come back in an, in an hour when everything has sold. In this next game, we're up against a guy who does not have a very good team. It was clear he was just starting out as well. So Nicholas Backstrom takes advantage of that, going upstairs, making it one to nothing after one. We're just all over this guy. The big man, Victor Hedman, pinching down low, gets a quick wrist shot off. Curtis Glencross tips it, but it uh, looks like it was kicked in. But the ref here calls it a good goal. So two to nothing. We are in control. Right here, we got a shot from Perron. Nice pass from Backstrom. Wide open net to Michael Grabner. Not going to miss that one just for good measure Nicholas Backstrom puts this one away getting goal number two on a nice backhand forehand you guys know I love those and that's it that's all this guy could take he quits three games three shutouts Satari is just doing amazing we are killing people I got to add 4k to my next player all right so we got another person that quit that is crazy another shutout for Satari he is killing it I just went and put up a Detroit jersey I bought it for a hundred pucks and then I went on my iPad and then I went into the NHL app and then just went and bought that jersey so saves a lot of time for me to have to switch accounts all that crap so I uh, did go and get myself 4k because we won that game by four goals all these guys pretty much have a bit of 100 so hopefully that gets up a little bit we got to get the 27th player we have just over 9k let's go here uh, NHL by now minimum 500 or let's go sure and by now 9.1 so looking to get a pretty good player here maybe a first liner or a goalie although we don't really need one because Satari is just killing it three games or whatever we played three shutouts so that is nuts 27th now is 10 this would be 20 1 2 3 Four, 
five, six, seven. Lucas Spiza. Okay, not bad, not bad. So, uh, pretty good defenseman. Uh, next time, though, I'm going to put the... Um, the buy now minimum to probably about 5k just so we can get a really good player like maybe a uh i don't know maybe someone i don't know someone like 86 and up maybe that'd be kind of nice so who do i take out here i might put i might take out franzen and put uh lucas spiza yeah that's what i'm going to do so that is what has that's what the team looks like right now i gotta put some contracts on some people this is what it looks like right now so let's jump into another game maybe make another person quit all right, we are playing a guy who also wants to use the Pittsburgh jerseys, so I go to my white ones, but jerseys do not matter. This is what matters. Eric Johnson comes in, just absolutely destroys that puck. I don't care who's in net, nobody is stopping that. Then David Perron makes a nice effort, comes up from behind the net, just a snipe show, going top, top shelf on Andre Pavlik. We are up 2-0 pretty early on, and right after that, we got Curtis Glencross. What a snipe. I didn't know. Everything is just going in, and then Andrew Cogliano, the speedster, dangles it out of his pants. Get out of there. And again, you guys know, he quits for nothing. Quitter after quitter after quitter. My God, it is crazy. I don't care. We are getting the victories. All right, I've got another Detroit jersey added, another 4K because we won 4 nothing again. I cannot believe how amazing Satari is doing. We have just over, or just uh, under 14K, so we're going to put the buy now to, let's put it to something like 2.5, just so we get a really decent player, someone who's actually going to play on our team. Uh, put it to NHL, got to get the 28th player, I'm 90% sure. Yeah, 28th player because 19 plus 9 is 28. So let's put the buy now all the way up to 13.7K. This is really helping out our puck total like crazy. So uh, let's go. We got to get the 28th player. So this is 10. This would be 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Dan Boyle, not bad at all. Uh, Dan Boyle was a really good defenseman. So we're going to have to make some room on our defensive core now. Another defenseman, that sucks because we have so many really quality defensemen. So, uh, Dan Boyle is a pretty good card though. We're really rich with defensemen. Wish we could get a couple more forwards and another goalie to back up Satari because he is amazing. Um, who do we get rid of? I mean, guess we got, get, get, uh, guess we got to get rid of Headman, I guess? Uh, or Spiza. Do, who do I like better? I like Hedman better. So Spiza only lasted one game. Uh, I guess I'll switch these guys around. Or no, that, that was right. So uh, Spiza only lasted one game. He is going to go to the junk pile. You guys will hear about that right after this clip. So I uh, guess that's it. I got to get some consumables for him. And Dan Boyle is our new defenseman. Quick update here. Everybody sold for 100 pucks. That is so bad. Um, I wish that we, that they would have got bit up. I mean, Thomas Fleischman for 100. That is a steal. But whatever. That is the roulette. This is, it's all chance. Let's keep it that way. So what I'm going to do is something called the Junk Bank. And I just came up with it. You guys can tell me another name if you want. But I'm going with the Junk Bank right now. It is all the junk players. All the players that didn't make the team that have no longer have a roster spot. So what I'm going to do here is... Is continually sell players put them at 50 pucks for the players that I'm not using then eventually once I get maybe 5k from these players I'm gonna keep a, a running tally on my computer and so we have 500 now because everybody sold for 100 pucks so once we have 5k we can go buy a pack maybe get a captain card you know start making our team better so we're adding the junk bank to the roulette series alright guys that is gonna be the end of the episode we got shutout after shutout after shutout and Satari was what a monster, like, uh, I'll go show you his individual stats right now, like, oh my god, this dude is so good, it's ridiculous, um, where is he, 16 wins, 4 losses, a save percentage of 91.3, but the crazy stat is if you go to the leaderboards, and I guess it would be monthly, yeah, because all the games we played, you go all the way over, so we've won 19 games, right, 
And look at those shutouts. 12. 12 of our 19 wins have been shutouts. So I can't believe it. Satari is just an absolute monster. Couldn't ask for anything more from this guy. But I want to know what you do think about the junk pile. Uh, let me know. Or the junk bank, whatever it's called. Let me know if you like it or not. We do have a couple more players in the junk bank right now. We have friends in uh, Lucas Pisa and Andrew Alberts. My God. The, the $4,000 man, Andrew Alberts. Uh, we have a bunch of those players so hopefully they get bit up a little bit and i will show you what they sell for in the next video we have just over 10k about 10 and a half k so that is really good here is the team and i know in the last clip i was being a derp and i put him on the right side put him on the left side but that is how it's going to be i'm thinking of moving down campbell i don't really know so let me know what you think about that any way i can rearrange the lines totally let me know i'm open to any suggestions hope you guys like this new way of doing it adding the pucks let me know any questions comments whatever you know where to put it drop it below i am out guys i will see you in the next video thank you for watching drop me a like because this really does take a long time to edit and stuff, but I'm really en enjoying it. Definitely my favorite series so far, and you guys seem to be enjoying it as well. So thank you for watching. I am out. Have a good one.